So now that we have our images in our application, we can add other types of resources like the sound. So to do that, we are going to add our um, sound or music into the resources folder. We will go right click and add a new Android um, resource directory. The resource directory we'll be using for sound is called um, row. So row will be our directory name. And when we click OK, we'll have another folder called Draw, and this is where we'll be placing our sounds. To add sounds, we can actually just drag them and drop them in this folder. So I have, for example, this cow sound. I can drag it and move it in here, and OK. And I can add the horse sound and drag it and drop it, move it in here. So now I have two sound um, files. One is cow.mp3 and one is horse.mp3. Um, so now that we have our sound um, files, we can use them in our Java application. To be able to use our sounds, we'll need to use a class called Media Player. So we will create an object of the class Media Player, and it's um, part of the Android.media package. So if we click here and import it, you will see it's imported under the Android.media, and then we have Media Player. Let's call that Media Player actually Media Player, and we'll initialize it like we did with all our um, resources or um, views in the onCreate method. So to initialize it, we have in the media player class a method called create. So our media player will be equal to media player dot create, and this create method will take two um, two parameters. One is the context, and our context in here is this, which is this activity, and then it will take the resource. Our resources are in the R file and they are in the row folder, and then the name of the resource. So we can have the resource, for example, cow, which is the cow sound. So now that we have our media player um, object, we can use it um, to start, pause, and play the music that we have or the sound that we have in that resource. So let's go to our change method, which is what, what we get when we click on the change. And let's say when we want to set the image to cow, we want to play the cow sound too. So in, in here, if the image was set to cow, when we set the image to cow, we want to play media player and then we have the start. And that will start the um, sound that we have there. So if you run this, it will compile it again and reinstall the um, application. So now when we click, when we have the horse, nothing is happening. But when we have, when we click and we are changing to the cow, it's making the sound of the cow. So we actually need to be careful with our media players. Media players tend to consume a lot of valuable resources in our system, and we do not want to have that. So instead of creating our um, media player on the increate method, we only want to create it on the media player when we want to use it. So I'm going to actually put it where we are using it in here in the else statement. Now we also needed to play the horse sound when we display the horse image. So in this case, instead of creating another media player um, reference, we can use the same reference. So if this reference is actually pointing to a media player object, we can check using an if statement in here. So if my media player object or reference is not pointing to null, it's already pointing to something, so it's not equal to null, this is the reference. In that case, we want to make this media player or release that media player um, reference from that object, so release. So this will um, release it, free up some resources for me, and we want to me uh, make that media player reference point to null, so we'll make it equal to null. So in this case, if we have the media player object um, created with the cow sound, we are releasing it and making this reference pointing to null. And now we can actually use that media player and our reference to create um, another media player, so media player object, so media player dot create, and we can use the same context which is this, and now our r dot row, and we want to play the horse sound. Now the same thing we will do to the cow. So if my media player object is not pointing to null, we want to release, we want to release that um, media player reference. So if my media player is not pointing to null, we will release it and make it equal to null, and then we will assign it to this uh, media player object with the cow sound. 
we forgot to put the um, start here, so media player dot start, so that will start the sound um, for us when we when we want to play it. So media player dot start. So now again, when we are clicking, if we have the cow, we want to set the image to horse, and then if the media player is not pointing to null, we'll release that media player, and then we'll point it to null, and then we'll be assigning the um, file to that or creating a media player with the file horse and then we'll start it. If it was pointing to null we will not execute this because it's already pointing to null so we'll just um, create the media player with the horse sound. Same thing with the cow. If it was not pointing to null we'll release that media player, we'll um, point it to null and then we'll create a new object with the cow. Now a better way to do it is using actually something called sound pool but we will not cover this in this um, video. So let's run this and see what happens in the emulator when we have it. So this is my um, image, cow, so if I click on the button it will switch to horse and play the horse sound. Let's try. Now we have the horse, when we click we'll display the cow and we'll play the cow sound.